Today I am in Manila's BGC. I'm so excited to be here. I've been waiting to come visit. I've just popped to the uptown mall. I'm gonna go have a look inside and get some food as well before I start proper exploring. There seems to be so many places to eat here. It's too much choice. I don't know what to go for. <laughs> My vlog's always about food. Um, yeah, let's go into the mall and have a look around. I love the water features. It looks so nice here. This is such a nice mall. Oh my gosh, I did not know they had a Pizza Express in Asia. I feel like that was such a British thing. I guess they've got like New Balance, they've got all the different stores. So on the bottom floor, we've got like a marketplace. Watson's, why is Watson's, I don't know if any of you can like answer this, but why is Watson's always on like the food court um, floor? Oh my God, look at these. Looks so good. The sign says restaurants are this way, so let's go find some more restaurants. This view is amazing. There's another Italianis there, like that's the one I went to at Venice Grand Canal Mall, but I think I'm gonna go for some ramen. So I'm gonna get some ramen and maybe some tempura, I'm super hungry. Uh, and then after I'm gonna go find an iced coffee because that's like my go-to iced coffee. This is my salmon tempura. I didn't realize how big it would be. In the picture there was like three on the plate. But anyways, I actually am really hungry, so I'm gonna enjoy this. Look at this ramen. Isn't that like the best thing you've ever seen? I am obsessed, obsessed with ramen. This is gonna be so good. Highly recommend this place. Really tasty and really nice stuff. After exploring the Uptown Mall, I then left and I went to explore the other parts of Manila's BGC. This area has such a different feel to where I'm staying. There are a lot of people riding bikes around this area as well. I feel like that would be a really fun thing to do, just get one of these bikes. Mover, I think they're called. And there's like a sports area over here. It's such a nice day today, like blue skies, sun. It's so nice and green around here. There's so many trees. So this area is BGC's High Street. I'm honestly loving it here, like it's so nice. I'm gonna take a stroll over here. There's some shops, lots of places to eat as well. I could have just come here to eat rather than go to the mall, but it was nice to see the mall as well. I mentioned in a previous vlog that I was gonna show you guys where I actually stayed both times I was in Manila. And now I have left, I can show you. I was staying at the Love D in Makati. And this place is so nice, so, so affordable. This is the reception area. Um, I had a private room and it was so cheap. So I would highly recommend. It's officially my last day in Manila. I'm actually so sad. Like even though I was here for a week, which should be enough time, I kind of wish that I had like another week because I just finally started exploring and it's so cool here but um yeah I've got to go home now I'm really sad my travel plans changed um but the good thing is I'm stopping through Singapore which means I get to see Maya and my family again which will be really nice before I head home um yesterday I was working and I also went to Cultura Filipino I think that's what it's called and I bought lots of gifts, spent a bit too much money, but I'm excited to see everyone when I get home. Um, and I'm excited to surprise my nan as well. I'm gonna surprise her, she doesn't know I'm coming home. And she's really missing me, so I'm gonna just like turn up to her place and surprise her and it's gonna be so cute. Just picked up my laundry. It's so good that like so many places do laundry here. <clears throat> the hotel I'm staying at did my laundry. And it was only 210 pesos, which is like, I don't know, three pound, four pound. I don't even know anymore. 
Um, anyway, it's time to pack. You don't even want to see the state of my suitcase right now. Like the way I let it get. Should I show you? No, I'm not gonna expose myself like that. Let's get to packing. I'm pretty much packed, so that's exciting. And now I'm gonna go get my nails done. I've been waiting. <laughs> I've just not had time and my nails are such a state right now. This is like from before I left. So I'm excited to go get my nails done and sorted. Um, I had an outfit change because my outfit I put on before was just literally to go to reception to collect my laundry because I was waiting like a couple days for it. So yeah, I'm in a nice fresh, Washly, uh, washly, freshly washed dress. Um, what I was gonna say is, the other day, me and Stacey went to a salon and we got our eyelashes done. And I'm so, so happy with the result. Like, I think in England, I could be wrong, but I am pretty sure it's like 50 pounds to get eyelash extensions in England. And in the Philippines, it cost me like eight pound. Um, I am so happy with the result. I don't know if you can see, but I got natural. I wanted to go for very natural. Um, I don't want anything too over the top and I have like no eyelashes usually, like you can't see them. So I'm really, really happy with the result. Anyways, let's go, let's go get our nails done. Hello. I'm in a really nice part of Makati. There's like a little park over there. I wish I had more time to just like chill and relax, but we've got a flight to catch later on. Anyway, let's go find the nail salon. So that was a fail. So many times I find things on Google Maps and then I go there and the place isn't there. And I kind of had a feeling it was gonna happen as well. But now I'm catching a grab to another place. Let's hope that <laughs> that place actually exists. Guys, this is so funny. I rebooked the Grab and it's the same driver. <laughs> How embarrassing. <laughs> I'm gonna have to tell him that I went to the wrong place. So far, this isn't turning out too successfully. I cannot find a nail salon. Everything here seems to open at like 11 and it's currently 10, but I've just seen a nail salon that I'm gonna go over and see if they're open. Mish nails, please pull through. Please pull through. Oh, I think I see a closed sign. I'm actually so upset. I don't have time to wait till 11. It's gonna be too long. I'm so stupid for leaving this for the last day. Okay, change of plan. The nail salons aren't open yet. I'm so stupid, I should have known. So I'm gonna go to Manam. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Please correct me if I'm not. Manam or Manam. It's a Filipino restaurant that I've been meaning to try and I was gonna go last night to film a video for you guys, but I was really tired last night and I had so much work to do so I thought I'd come for lunch when I'm getting my nails done. It's saying online that the Manam is open from 10. So let's see if it's true because that nail salon over there, that said it was open from 10 on Google but it's not open. So I'm a little bit stressed right now because I've got a flight to make but it's only my fault <laughs> for being so last minute. But to be fair, this whole thing has been last minute. I didn't even realize that I was going home and everything has been a bit chaotic, but it will all work out. Yeah, look, none of the shops are open. It's like quarter past 10 right now. In the UK, everything opens at nine. So yeah, it's, it's obviously different, but then the really good thing here that I find is quite common in Asia is that um, shops open late like they stay open like the nail salons will stay open till 9 p.m or whatever which you'll never get oh look there's a shake shack shout out to myra mish this is a really nice area so this area is called green belt by the way i don't know if that's what the oh there's another filipino restaurant there century i don't know if that's what like the malls are called or if it's the general area it's called green belt but it's really nice Okay, my Nam's closed, they're renovating Greenbelt. I should have known that this day was not gonna be successful. So let's just head into the coffee bean and tea leaf and get something to eat and a coffee. I need to try and replan my day. Here's breakfast. I got iced caramel macchiato while I wait for the nail salon to open <laughs> and an almond donut thing.
This is where I got my nails done. It was really, really good. I'm so, so happy with them and the color. They finally look better. I got my feet done as well, the same color, but I'm not gonna show my feet. <laughs> Free feet pick. <laughs> Free feet videos is not coming on my channel. Sorry, guys. This is one of the green belt malls. There's loads of shops here. It's officially time to say goodbye to Manila. I'm so sad, but I'm excited to go to Singapore again and see my family and see Maya. But um, yeah, I don't feel ready to go home, guys. I've had such a good time. I barely fit <laughs> everything in this case. Like it took so much for me to shut it and I'm so scared the zip's gonna break. Made it to Manila Airport, Terminal 3. I need to find the jet start again. I feel like my time in the Philippines went so fast, but I genuinely had the best time of my life and I cannot wait to come back and explore more of the Philippines. But for now, I'm headed home. Um, I got a Jetstar flight over to Singapore and then I got a flight back to London. I have lots of work, guys, and I have to prioritize work because that's how I live. If I could make full-time living from YouTube, oh my God, that's the dream. But unfortunately, that's not the case right now. Oh my gosh, I had like a full row to myself as I was just showing you guys um, in the video. It was amazing. Whenever I book the back row, I get seats to myself. So that's a travel hack. And that looked really dry, that roll, but it was really nice. I had a little um, meal on Jetstar. Look at the sunset. But yeah, thank you so much to everyone that's watched and subscribed and the videos will continue. So please stay tuned and um, yeah, thank you again. Bye.